What is a pulley? Sometimes it is not easy to lift heavy objects with only human force. This problem can be fixed with the help of a simple machine like a pulley. What is a pulley? A basic pulley comprises of a wheel on a fixed axle with a groove along the edges to guide a rope or a cable. The load is the weight of an object and effort the amount of force required to lift or move this object. When you put two or more wheels together and run a rope around them, you have created a great lifting machine. As you add more pulleys, you increase your mechanical advantage and it becomes very easy to lift the same load. The trade-off is that as you increase the number of pulleys, you require a greater amount of rope to achieve the same result. Hence, by decreasing the effort needed to lift the load, you have to apply the force for a longer period of time. The wheel and axle When we have to move a real heavy load, we have to use a great deal of force to push it. This is because of friction which is the force resisting the motion of the object on the ground and gravitational force that pulls the object to the ground. The wheel and axle solves this problem in a jiffy. In this simple machine, a wheel is locked to a central axle and they rotate each other when a force is applied on either one of them. When we place a heavy load on the axle and push it, the rolling of the wheels reduces the friction to a large extent. However, the frictional force does not depend on the surface area of the object. The friction depends on its mass and what material it is made of. When there is less friction, it takes less force to move something. The effort needed to overcome the resistance acting upon the axle is relatively small. We see the wheel and axle set up in many of our day-to-day -day activities. A longer motion at the edge of the wheel is converted to a shorter, more powerful motion at the axle. In reverse, a short powerful force at the axle will move the wheel's edge at a greater distance. What is a lever? The lever is one of the most basic forms of a machine. They help us lift loads with lesser effort. Even though this looks simple, there are so many things going on in order to lift the object easily. A lever can be described as a long rigid body with a fulcrum along its length. Load, the object you're lifting, fulcrum, point at which the lever pivots, effort, the force applied to make the object move. We use levers in so many of our day-to-day -day activities. They are classified into three categories depending on the relative position of the load, fulcrum and force. The first class lever where the pivot is in between the effort and the load. The second class lever where the load is between the fulcrum and the effort. The third class lever where the effort is between the fulcrum and the load.
screw. A screw is one of the most commonly used mechanical devices in the world. It is a machine that converts rotational motion into linear motion. A screw has a long and thin metal shaft with threads spiraling along its length. It also has a turning head with a groove where a screwdriver can be used to rotate it. The strength of a screw's hole depends on the width of the threads and the distance between them. The closer and wider the threads, the stronger the hold will be. However, more threads require more rotations to attach the screw and wider threads require more force in the rotations. The mechanical advantage of the screw increases when the angle of the spiral increases. The screw has become an integral part of the mechanical age. It can be used to hold things together, lift heavy loads, drill holes on objects. What is a wedge? The wedge is the active twin of the inclined plane and one of the six classical simple machines. Unlike an inclined plane which is stationary, a wedge does useful work by moving. A wedge is made up of two inclined planes. These planes meet and form a sharp edge. For a wedge, the effort force is applied to the vertical edge of the wedge. We often see a wedge being used for many things like to separate portions of an object, to lift a heavy load, or to hold an object in place and avoid it from moving. The force yielded from the wedge is inversely proportional to the inclined plane. That means if the inclined angle is small, the wedge yields a larger force and may do the job faster than a wedge with a wider angle.